Now, would you look at this, guys? I am in a WrestleMania King of the Ring, and I'm up against the bot. Okay, guys, this is definitely, most definitely, a bot. We are both full energized, and I only just come away with the win. If you guys are just about to start WrestleMania King of the Rings, for those of you that have been in King of the Rings since the start of the tier a couple of weeks ago, then you already know this, but I just want to let you guys know, for those of you that are about to start WrestleMania King of the Rings, prepare thy backside, because <laughs> it's tough. It really, really is tough. When you come up against a fully energized bot, even though they are somewhat misproed or not leveled up correctly or not leveled up fully, they can cause you problems, some real problems. But anyway, guys, how's it going? It's JT Judgment here, back again, as always, with some more WWE Supercard for you all. And yeah, like I said, King of the Ring bots, man. Absolutely ridiculous. I've seen on Twitter as well that some people are getting semi-bumped and quarter-bumped by bots, which it's absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. So even though you get, if you get yourself into a full bot King of the Ring in WrestleMania tier, don't breathe a sigh of relief until you get to the finals because those bots, man, they can they can sneak up on you and do some damage without you realizing. Just energize every single game to be sure, you know. So in the world of WWE Supercard over the past couple of days. We've had some not so great news. Obviously, um, it came out that a lot of people have been hacking the game, glitching the game, whatever you want to call it, to get themselves loads of credits and being able to buy packs, and that has caused them to get Mania Pros this early on. Um, and not only that, it's caused so many problems for everybody else in the game. This was my reaction. No, God, please, no, no, no! Oh man, that is beginning to become a bit of an overused gif, I think. <laughs> Still works though. So yeah, when I first heard about it, guys, I was thinking, why? Why hack the game? I mean, I can understand that people want things for free, you know? No matter what happens, people are always gonna find ways to get things for free. But when it comes down to, you know, hacking the game, which by doing so, you are ruining, ruining the experience for a lot of people that play the game. It's, it's, why do it? You know, why do it? I mean, a lot of people with RTG, I'm not one of the people that missed out on it due to this. I did finish RTG uh, and I still, I think it had like a day 20 hours left. So I got it done fairly soon. Um, I wanted to make sure I got RTG done so that I got the card. Um, and if I go to my cards here, not Ultras, WrestleMania, Andre has been proed, he is not leveled up just yet because I want to keep him at this level so that he is, uh, you know, he's a survivor event card killer because he's the only WrestleMania pro I have right now, you know, so if I level him up fully, he's going to give so much experience to my deck, I'm going to be coming up against other Mania pros and I just won't stand a chance unless my Andre the Giant wins his game. And it, that may not happen if other Andre's proc and whatnot. So, yeah, RTG was done for me fairly soon. I'm so glad that I got the card and I got the card done. Um, but like I was saying, because of this hacking and glitching and people just going out of their way to make trouble for the game, it's ruined the game for a lot of other people. You know, a lot of people have told me that they missed out on the card because... The wall has been reintroduced in RTG because of all these people getting Mania Pros from hacking and glitching the game to get themselves free credits, you know? So, you know, Supercard have come out to say that they are in the process of banning many people, and I think many people have already been banned, but um, during to the end of Road to Glory, there are still people that have not been banned yet, so fingers crossed they can get most of it, if not all of it, done by the next RTG because... Getting this Andre the Giant card was, it was a pain in the ass. excuse my language, but it really, really was a pain in the ass. I got two uh, Roman Reigns at, let's say, 190 points. I was just about to finish Roman Reigns. Uh, that's when I start, uh, well, I stopped playing my plus 10s because I found myself coming up against more WrestleMania pros. Uh, and I was just getting unlucky coming up against Survivor events. 
uh, with procs and whatnot. It was just giving me a bloody headache and I just wanted to calm things down, do plus sixes, pretty much guarantee the win in the plus sixes, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, and then move on slowly but surely from there. Then I finished Roman Reigns, uh, probably, you know, like I said, like I was around 190 points. From there on, I went on to plus sixes, so it wasn't that many games. And then as soon as I got into Andre the Giant's card on this game, as soon as I passed into it and I was about to start playing the game, plus sixes became increasingly difficult very, very soon as well. You know, I just got lucky because what I found was that if I kept backing out and going back in and finding the people I knew I could beat, then that pretty much gave me a plus six every single time. Sometimes it did take me a while to find these people that I did know that I could beat, but um, in the end I got the job done and I'm so thankful and so, so so happy that I did get it done soon, you know, because again, over on Twitter I've seen loads of people missing out by like five points or less, which is, oh, that's got to be dreadful. But I kind of know how it feels because in the past I have just missed out on cards from other events like PCC and it's been absolutely dreadful. So I can only imagine the feeling is the same with this. Um, yeah, it's absolutely really disgusting. But um, RTG is finished. Let me know in the comment section down below how far did you get if you're in the same tier as me. If I give you guys, it should be on the screen. But this right here, if I autofill and swap out my supports to the, to the manager ones... That is my up updated Road to Glory deck. It's coming along nicely. I finally got myself four Survivor Pro Divas, which is absolutely insane. But I'm still looking for a down arrow Diva that procs in speed or charisma. Because as you can see, I've got a, same, a, a pretty decent Natalia in charisma. That's half decent. Uh, I've got another Natalia, which I didn't focus as much on in charisma, which I would like to improve on. Uh, and speed, I've got no speed Divas. So I need to get myself a Speed and Charisma Diva, uh, down arrow preferably to tag with Paige and Charlotte uh, as soon as possible. Because if I go into, no not Epic, if I go to uh, Survivor, press on Diva, they are building up guys and I have indeed got myself a Becky Lynch. So hopefully soon I can get myself a, a double of that card so I can pro her out, chuck her into. It would make life so much easier for me in King of the Ring as well guys because... My Diva tag team is Paige and Charlotte, is doing the business for me now, but guys, it, it's losing so many games for me, because not only do I come up against Nikki and, you know, regular Survivor Pro Nikki Bella and the uh, Survivor Event Pro Brie Bella in the Diva tag team, I also come up against, you know, pretty much the same tag team as me, Charlotte and Paige, they proc, I lose. Oh, it's just a nightmare, so I really, really need to get myself a Diva. Uh, tag team, a compatible diva tag team as soon as possible. If Bailey would do, she's speed and charisma. She's a down arrow. I need one soon, and I, I should be coming close to or somewhat close to a survivor pull on the board because since I pulled my last survivor card, which was a Mark Henry, yeah, I know, a Mark Henry. I think I must have played over two and a half thousand games, which is absolutely bloody bonkers to think about. But hey ho, that's how it goes. Now. While we're on the subject of pulling things off the board, uh, I have pulled a WrestleMania card off the board, and I pulled myself a Daniel Bryan. And that happened is, is that yesterday or the day before, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I did pull myself Daniel Bryan. I think it was close to 1,500 games after uh, the previous WrestleMania pull to him. So if I go through the WrestleMania cards I have right now, we've obviously got Andre the Giant Pro. We've got Roman Reigns that I got from Road to Glory, obviously. Daniel Bryan pro pull off the board. We've got Kevin Owens, which was my very first King of the Ring win. Uh, well, I say win. I think I came in the came in second place. So I only got the WrestleMania card, but it's definitely a good one to have. Uh, we've got Bray Wyatt, which was my most recent uh, WrestleMania card from a King of the Ring. I would have liked something better, to be honest. Ideally, anything that I've already got to make a pro, but Bray Wyatt's still a decent card. You know, he's got some decent stats. I'm hoping to be able to pro him pretty soon, obviously. And then we've got the ones that I've already had. Uh, Jey Uso, my freebie. Heath Slater from Ring Domination. And Goldust was one of my early pulls after, you know, the WrestleMania tier was released. And obviously, I've got this WrestleMania universe as well. So my WrestleMania card collection's coming along, I'd say, half decently. But 
you know, these WrestleMania King of the Rings, man, are causing me so much trouble that I'm really struggling to reach the final and get myself that WrestleMania card. My teammates are exactly the same. You know, we're all struggling at this point in time to get ourselves those WrestleMania cards. Um, it's, it's just hell, you know, but we'll get there. Give us time. We'll get there. Just not too much time i hope <laughs> guys but we scroll down we've got team ring domination as well uh which is going to be happening very very soon and for those of you that don't know the wrestlemania card is in fact aj styles which is pretty awesome and i do believe the survivor is cesaro don't quote me on that guys you can check twitter for 100 percent confirmation there but i'm pretty sure uh that somebody tweeted out a picture and it's showing that the survivor card in this event was cesaro which it's kind of comical if you're in my team because the amount of Cesaros that me and my teammates have got is is laughable. So, yeah, we will be going for Cesaro. No, no, we won't. No, just just AJ Styles will do it for our team, guys, and then we'll move on and just forget about it. So King of the Ring from Season 1 as well is still going. I'm going to keep going until I get myself the Rock Legendary at least. Um, and you'll never guess it, guys. I've actually got a human in a Season 1 King of the Ring. I've said it in the message. That hasn't happened for me for bloody months. I was just happy to see. <laughs> but we've got a human in this King of the Ring. Um, I'm in fact first, uh, like I usually do. I'm, I'm, To be honest, I'm expecting it, you know? I mean, I've got these cards in. I've done the same every single time. I just start a King of the Ring, completely ignore it. I don't energize anyone. And then... I'm fully okay, <laughs> as you can see. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not struggling. I'm struggling to get my words out. That's what I'm struggling to do right now. Bloody hell! Whew, deep breath. Right. Start again. I am not struggling in this King of the Ring, even though I'm not energizing my cards whatsoever. That's what legendary King of the Rings are right now for season one. You know, nobody really plays them. Well, obviously this one I've got a human in it, but he's not really paying that much attention to it. I don't think. But, um, yeah, we're going to keep going in this Season 1 King of the Ring until I get myself the Rock card. Uh, because that is something that I want to bring over as soon as possible. Because he's pretty much one of the only legendaries left in Season 1 that I like the picture of that I can't use in Season 2. So, yeah, that would be pretty awesome. So, what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go into some exhibition gameplay. See if we can get lucky enough to pull something decent off the ball. Because my polls, ever since, uh, you know, going into WrestleMania Plus tier have been pretty sick i mean yesterday i was playing uh while watching a film on um oh what's that streaming service called netflix how the hell did i forget that um on netflix i pulled an ultra rare miz the very next pick after the board reset was an ep really like i was saying guys i pulled an ultra miz the very next pick off the board guys after the board reset was uh, an epic enhancement and then the board reset again and then my very next pick was another ultra rare in the name of bray wyatt so and since then i've pulled like about four or five ultras i've pulled another epic support in the in the form of a trash can um and yeah poll wise my, my my luck has been pretty decent and what has happened to me usually in the past guys is that when i play exhibition and i get a bunch of you know decent polls ultra rare and above close together my you know my main reset for the tier oh there's a pro he slater there guys my main pull for the tier so my wrestlemania pull off the board isn't too far away so if I can get myself uh, a WrestleMania pull off the board in a video, that would be pretty sick. So, yeah, toughness. Oh, yeah, we're going to beat that any day of the week. Legendary pros against Survivor pros. Sit down, sunshine, and just give me the win. I don't care if I'm not a taggable, compatible tag team. I'm going to kick that boot here left, right, and center. So let's see if we can get the reset here, guys. We've got an energy, which is nice. we got Dolph Ziggler. Let me get an energy, uh, not an energy, an enhancement there. So, yeah, I'm kicking that bot's ass right now, even though I'm not energized. Puts a smile on my face. So, we go back into a game now, guys. And I, like I said, I've just hit WrestleMania Plus tier. Let me know how you are getting on in the comment section down below. Um, are you struggling in WrestleMania King of the Rings? Or are you getting lucky and they're an absolute breeze for you? There's another Andre the Giant Pro there. I think mine, no, he's one level higher than me. 
That's not too bad. Like I said, I'm not going to be leveling up my Andre the Giant as of yet. I may be tempted to when I get to the contenders brackets of the current King of the Ring that I am in. Because there are one or two people that have Andre the Giant Pro. So, the problem is, I don't know what they've done with the card. I don't know whether they're the same level as me. I don't know whether they've leveled him up completely. I'm all over the place right now, you know? So, I'm thinking, if I don't level him up, then if I come up against him in King of the Ring, then that's going to be a guaranteed loss, pretty much. Whereas, if I leave, if I do level him up, then that's going to cause problems for me in the long run as well, because I'm going to be coming up against higher decks in Exhibition. It's going to cause me problems that way. Whereas, if I just sort of somewhat sacrifice a few games in king of the ring just to keep my andre the level he is i'm at two minds as to what to do right now you know so see there this is what i mean by the wrestlemania charisma card being so insane for me here's daniel bryan proc there but because i had the charisma i won the game it's absolutely insane. It saved me so many times and I've won so many games because of it. It is absolutely unreal. So to anybody out there that has a single stat support card as your WrestleMania reset off the board, don't, um, what's the word, underestimate what it can do in this game because it, it will win you so many games unless it's a duplicate or something. You know, if you've got two WrestleMania toughness signs then yeah that's got to sting a little bit i think <laughs> but if it's just the one that you get just don't underestimate what it can do for you man it's it, this the, the the charisma one that i've got like i said it's, it's been so useful to me and it's won me so many games it's been absolutely fantastic just be grateful that you get an absolutely insane card don't don't get me wrong when you get more wrestlemania pros then that's probably when it'll become more useless. See what's now? Oh, I've lost that one because his, his, his John Cena's charisma is just off the bloody charts. But like I was saying, yeah, just don't underestimate the, the, the power of, you know, these WrestleMania single stat cards that add 215 to a stat. When you get to the point that you've got more Mania Pros in your deck, then it may become less useful. we got a super red Ted DiBiase there. It's not too bad. Um, when you get to, you know, the higher tiers and you get more Mania cards in your deck, then that's probably when those single stat ones will become less and less use useful. But for the time being in Survivor tier, they add almost the same as a Survivor card's proc, which is just absolutely ridiculous. And as you can see, as you just saw there, it won me the game against Daniel Bryan, you know, it's, it's, it's just a fantastic card to have, in my opinion. And yeah, like I said, I got the reset now, guys. So I've been recording for coming up to 18 minutes. A boom on my recorder. I've just hit 18 minutes, guys. So that is going to wrap up this video for today. If you did enjoy, smash the like button down below, guys. All the support is greatly appreciated. And I have seen, guys, that we just passed 800 subscribers on the channel, which is just absolutely insane. I want to give a massive shout out to everybody that has shown support to this channel liking the videos subscribing to the channel for those of you that have shared the content around spread spread word of the channel absolutely insane and i want to give a special shout out to all the big boys in the supercard community edward jb biggie dude bad lad dad um uh, kenneth knight as well all these guys gave me so much uh, you know inspiration to make videos not only that but i made my first video um and you know everybody just came in together and started you know saying go check this guy out i can remember edward saying in a video he linked uh, the channel in the description of one of his videos uh bad lad dad has mentioned me i think uh, kenneth knight has mentioned me as well jb has sent numerous tweets over on twitter it's just been an absolute blast and I really didn't expect to get the kind of response from those guys that I did. So if by some miracle any of you guys are watching this video and you see this part list late in the video, I just want to give a massive, massive shout out to you and say a massive thank you for your support and thank you for everything you've done to get word of my channel out there. You know, it means the world to me and this channel is going to keep growing every single day slowly but surely it is growing every single day and i'm just having a blast doing this guys absolute blast and i hope you guys are enjoying the content that i am putting out like i said if you are smash a thumbs up i'd really really appreciate it and as always guys please take care and i'll see you all next time ta-da guys